Last month, I featured podcast host Stephanie Gallen as my guest host. Steph brought her unique spin to her top 10 list. This month, I have her Reading Sirens co-host, Heather Pantoja, stepping in to provide her own reading recommendations. So, here's Heather. Hey everyone, my name is Heather, and I am the other half of the Reading Sirens. And today, I'm here to give you my top 10 female romance authors. So, first up, in number 10, we have Sarah Nye. I love her series. She has one called How to Date a Douchebag. If you are looking for some laughs, she's definitely the one that you want to check out. Next up in number nine, I have B.B. Easton with Devil of Dublin. So some of you guys may know me as the Twisted Rom-Com Queen on the Reading Sirens podcast. And this book will definitely give you that kind of twist. It's kind of like a dark romance, but it's so beautifully written that I highly recommend it. And B.B. Easton is super sweet. She also has one of her books turned into a show or a series on Netflix, I believe. So check her out. In the number eight spot, we have Sarah Echeverry Smith. This book on location was so sweet. It had me wanting to go and explore on my own, just like the main characters in the book. Her characters are so real and her family dynamics. You will be wanting to call up your grandmother, hang out with her, and just kind of reminisce if your grandparents are gone like mine. So I highly recommend her. She's super sweet. Every book has been amazing that I've read by her. And at number seven is Rachel Van Dyken. She writes a variety of genres in romance. She has dark and twisted. She has fantasy, rom-coms. I highly recommend her. She's super sweet. She's one of the most positive authors I've ever met. So you've got to check her out. And at number six is the queen of angst herself, M. Robinson. She's also co-written a book with Rachel Van Dyken. It's a couple books, I actually think. But her books I've been reading for a very long time, since probably like 2016. And there hasn't been one that I haven't loved. And she's also one that has the ability to write in different genres or like different tropes in romance. So I highly recommend her. She's got it all. And if you're not following her on Instagram, you're missing out. Okay, we're down to number five. And that is going to be the one and only Sunly Dev. Her books, it's like wrapping you in a hug. I've loved every single one that I've read. This one in particular was fantastic. It gives you three generations in a family. You get to hear some of the most hilarious date stories, traumatizing ones. And she's just got this personality that comes out in her characters that you can't help but fall in love with. So I highly recommend her. Okay, lucky number four is going to be Catherine Center. Hello Stranger is something I don't think I've ever read anything like. Her books all have real characters. To me, they're real characters. Like it could be somebody you'd meet on the street. And this one really teaches you a lesson of you work with what you got. So if you weren't able to see people's faces anymore, you would just look for other characteristics. And I love how she always has like a positive note or reinforcement in all of her stories. So make sure you check her out. Okay, number three has a special place in my heart. It is Tiffany DiPartolo. She has written books that will not give you a happy ending sometimes. And it's okay. So the first book I've read of hers, I'm stuck with it. And this one was just as good. I waited to make sure I was prepared, but I cannot recommend this book enough. It's got the twists, the turns, the romance, the angst. I highly recommend it, and I recommend all her other books as well. Okay, number two is none other than Amy Harmon. And I read this book in 2016, and it still has the ability to pull emotions from me just by thinking about certain scenes. And if that can do it, if that book can do that to me, it definitely has to be like in my top. And this one definitely is. It's so well written. It touches on a lot of like different issues. It's got veterans in it. And it's just one that will really touch your heart. So I highly recommend it. And all of her books as well will get you in the feels. And how could I not pick this one for my number one? So a lot of people, you know, went on the Fifty Shades kick and I read them and I looked at an article that was like, what should you read next? And it was The Mother Road by Megan Quinn. And so I jumped into this one next, 
had me laughing my butt off. This book is so hilarious. Let me tell you, you'll never look at apple juice the same. And I think Megan is my most read author. I've read 43 of her books so far. I've got a little bit more to go to finish her, you know, list, but that's my one of my goals this year. But I highly recommend her books. She has a whole bunch of different tropes, sports, you know, rom-coms. She's got it all family. I highly recommend it. She's a sweetheart and you can't go wrong with the Megan Quinn. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you've read some of my recommendations, let me know on Instagram and let me know what you think. Have a great day. A big thank you to Heather for being this month's guest host. If you're interested in picking up one of the books mentioned in her segment, you can find that list of titles and their ISBN numbers down in the video description.